You're... Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. This is the Strange Reality with Dave Emmons, and I have a guest with me tonight. I just want to thank everybody for actually tuning in last time when I had Dr. Robert Scheip uh, on, and uh, a lot of you liked his shows. And we, we, we have a real special show tonight. Some new stuff he's going to show us and talk to us about. Uh, but it's it's kind of like this UFO thing, disclosure thing is really getting deep now. But also with us people who are in involved and we're experiencing these things, it's it's harder for a lot of people to believe what we're talking about. But believe me, these things are real. And the stuff that Dr. Robert Scheib's going to be talking about is real. He's got videos. He's got pictures. So that's just the, you know, hang in there and we're going to do this show and we're going to we're going to do uh, the newest, latest update because he's been on the show before. Dr. Robert Scheib, a Los Angeles area pharmacist. And that's what, oh, he's a doctor. He's a, pharma he's a pharmacist doctor. And he's a researcher in UFOs, area old paranormal activity of Southern California. Uh, he's done this for 40 years. And he's using special recording techniques in which he invented, actually. And he actually in, uh, invented, uh, uh, I guess, medicines, pharmacy medicines that can be sent over in the mail. So if you get any pharmacy uh, uh, medical supplies in your mail, then actually Dr. Robert Scheibs kind of started that all. And he, he did this, I think it was way back, what, 2012, doctor? Is that when the... Uh, 80, 86. I started 86. in 1986. Okay. You retired in 2012. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I retired. Uh, yeah. Oh, you retired early, actually, too. So... And he also invented uh, this photography. It's subliminal photography. And you'll see some of it. If you've watched the show before, you've seen some of the videos that he's recorded. He's uh, an inventor. He's a doctor. And he's uh, an investigator. And he's filmed a lot of things, uh, I guess, in the past 30, 40 years. And um, he actually, well, Ron Anderson, I got to give him a shout out. Uh, he, he introduced us. And then there's a Glenn Jacob Falkenstein uh, that uh, Dr. Robert uh, knows. And uh, he was a strange guy, probably not even human. Uh, I've seen you, you might look him up on the YouTube or whatever. Glenn Jacob Falkenstein, F A L K E N S T E I N. And you can see some of his shows, and it's really, I mean, it'll blow your mind. Uh, I've seen him doing talking to 10 people, and he guessed their social security numbers uh he he guessed their their height their weight everything right down to the t and uh it's amazing and he he didn't know these any of these people and uh, wow. he gets into real details uh dr robert scheib welcome back to the show buddy i've always uh, enjoyed what you have to offer and uh you want to tell us a little bit about what you've been up to lately wow well thank you for our, such a wonderful introduction i do appreciate that uh, briefly, born and raised in Los Angeles my whole life, 66 years ago. Uh, yeah, in 1986, I did invent the first mail order pharmacy in the United States. They said it was impossible, it could not be done. Mm -hmm. uh, today, the mail order pharmacy business does $900 million a day. So mm -hmm. I, I, I had a lot to do with that. I invented something called a specialty pharmacy, which is very common now, and it didn't exist then where a pharmacy specializes in one treatment, whether diabetes, heart disease. Uh, I specialized in infectious disease. So I was a pharmacist uh, specializing in HIV. And I took care of a lot of people, a lot of patients in the country. I would mail them their medicine, a state of the art. Uh, again, in 1986, they said it couldn't be done. And it, it obviously it, it could be done. It was extremely successful. And I did that for 25 years. I re uh, retired in 2012. And uh, in 2017, I started to seriously, well, I, I've been investigating UFOs since 1975, but in 2017, it really took off. It really took off. I'm going to show you that video. I'm going to show you the video that really took this to another level okay yeah i think people remember you on the show last time they enjoyed a lot of those videos and uh i think it's it's new to them to see something that small 
but actually you say it, uh, it it's only an inch or two inches when it starts but it actually elongates when it when it's in operation when it flies so uh, you'll be showing you'll be seeing this on the videos but we had a very interesting conversation dr robert and i got into different conversations of course we've had we both have mutual experiences and mutual things that's happened to us in our lives and uh so uh we had a good conversation and and a lot of it we we can't talk on the air about it but it's it's something that uh oh these guys these alphabet people party already know a lot of the stuff so it's you know it, it's a ti ti whatever but uh dr robert Scheip, i guess you want to start off i'm gonna this is a show that i'm gonna let you just talk about your new stuff because you showed some of that to me and it's 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 really great so well you get started wherever you want to go buddy yeah well there's so much to say and i'll try to i'm gonna overwhelm i'm not trying to overwhelm your viewers but i have a lot of new information it's going to sound overwhelming it's a simple concept but there are objects, there are UFOs, they're flying right in our, right in front of us. We do not see them. Uh, the digital cameras, cell phones can see them. You can record them. And a lot of these UFOs, they do have smaller UFOs. You call them drones. They're very small, between one inch and 10 inches. And I call these small drones, you can call them uh, orbs, uh, scouts, probes. I call them dragons because I thought they were dragonflies when I first recorded them. Mm -hmm. I was certain I was recording a bug and that they were dragonflies. Now, I live here in Marina del Rey, Los Angeles. Let me tell you, in 2017, it all started. Uh, in the summer of 2017, for no reason, or for some reason, not public yet, the Coast Guard and the Black Hawks Special Ops flew in to Marina del Rey. They hovered for four hours every day for two weeks. And they were like 200 feet off the ground, like, like they were chasing a bank robber or something. It was very odd. I took out my camera after two weeks. I took out my camera. I started to record them. I noticed there were small objects flying around the helicopter. Later, I've learned that these are the UAP, the UFO dragons. These are not bugs or birds. These are, and this is what, this is what they were chasing. So the Coast Guard, the Army, the government, they know about these small UAPs. They don't have a clue of what they are. They can see them because of our satellites. We have a new generation of satellites that went online in 2016. We can now see these things flying around our country, especially for some reason, we, we do not know yet why, but it's Marina del Rey. These small dragons, UAPs, are, there's clusters of them in, in Marina del Rey. And that's what I'm recording. And I've documented 4,000 videos. And you can check out my channel. You can email me at custodianfile, dot, uh, custodianfile at gmail. Custodianfile at gmail. Uh, all my videos are open source. I'll be happy to share. Oh, Dr. Uh, Robert, I wanted to tell you that on the last show that we did, the last, the first full show that you showed a lot of these things, the second show, we it was segmented because there were some technical problems that I think that was created from outside of me. And I've just heard some humming sounds twice while we've been doing the show. Weird. And I heard that humming sound the other day when I was doing the show. It doesn't happen when I'm writing my books or I'm on the computer. It just happens when, during these types of things. Uh, but uh, there was a guy who wrote in comments and actually put a video in the comments. And he said he did what you said. And he actually filmed one. He got one, a drone. I, I forget where he said he found it, but it was here in the States. Uh, I'm thinking Ohio, Alabama, somewhere like that. But he actually filmed one. He said, he said, the, she said, uh, Dr. Scheib is right. He said, I got one. And they showed it. And the, it's in the comment section on the, on the first show, I think. But uh, uh, always, yeah, Dave, uh, I'm getting videos like that almost every day now. I've been asking people. Just hold your camera sideways. All you have to do, hold your camera sideways, landscape. 
zoom in halfway on a helicopter or a jet airliner and record for 30 seconds. That's it. Mm -hmm. The majority of the time you will see a tiny dot. That dot will be the UAP, the UFO dragon. Yeah. They are reconning our aircraft, all aircraft, no exceptions. We are being reconned. Again, I have people from all over the all over the country now, Montana, Wyoming, St. St. Louis, uh, yeah. Florida. It, it, I, I, I stopped counting. Yeah. I, uh, I stopped. Dr. Dr. Robert, what how do you do you take a cell phone and you get the video for 30 seconds? How do yeah. you slow it down? I'm not a techie, so I don't know. Okay. I'm not a techie either. I'm a, I'm a pharmacist. I had the, I'm a, now I'm a, I'm a good amateur photographer. So I, and it's easy to learn if you have somebody tell you, but uh, I like, I like movie maker. It's free. It's from windows movie maker. Uh, the old one, the classic movie maker, they make it a little tricky to find, but it is, it's free download. It works really well. And basically after you download it, uh, it asks, what file do you want us to look at? And you take your uh, your SD card, you plug it in your your computer, and you just, simp it's real simple. It's the easiest out of all to operate. And you slow it down to 12% and you just edit. And I'll be happy to, to do a tutorial if anyone wants to ask. It's not yeah. that hard. Or you can send me your raw video I will edit for you and send it back. Right. Well, this guy had had one that was going pretty fast. He didn't slow it down a lot, but it was enough that I, I saw what it was and he knew what it was from what, right. you, were, what you were explaining. Uh, right. to people. So they are catching on to this. And it's great that you're giving people, telling people how to do this, because uh, you said this, this, this occurs all over the world. These, these all, drones are all over the world. All over the world. I, I find them on, see now, People are accidentally posting these UAPs. Some of the some people call them fast walkers. That's fine. I mean, I'm you can call them what you want: fast walkers, UAP orbs, probes. Um, but they're accidentally posting them. What they do is they go to air shows, Blue Angels or Thunderbirds. Mm -hmm. They like to show up at air shows. These these dragons. So all I do is I watch. Uh, Thunderbirds or Blue Angels, and I and I get new video, accidentally because uh, in Chicago the Thunderbirds in Chicago is the number one uh, city to look to review randomly videos. The Blue Angels in Chicago, I I have found spectacular video, knowing the formula, super spectacular. I mean, if you ask, I mean, I'll even show you. I found. I, well, I have my my own drop dead great video, Covina, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I just showed you earlier. I'm going to show that. That's ridiculous. That is that is beyond anything you'll ever see. And um, but I found equally good videos on YouTube in Canada, uh, Palmdale, California, and also Chicago. Chicago. And, Chicago has a lot of action. I mean, I mean, on the ground and in the air. I guess what? Yeah, you you also showed a picture not. Uh, and we kind of talked about that, that it was, it looks like kind of the uh, Michelin man uh, ET that I had pictures of. And it kind of looked like the object that you had floating in the sky uh, near where the blue angels were at. And uh, that, yeah, it was fantastic, Dr. Robert. Yeah. Thank you. That I don't even believe that one. I found that five years ago. I still shake my head. Yeah. Uh, I call it balloon man, but Michelin man is, is great also. Uh, I don't even believe it. I'll be happy to show you. I mean, I'll, I'll try to, I'll share all my info with you as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. um, so well, why don't we just, why yeah, don't we just. Yeah. Why don't we get into the new, uh, start off with your new stuff. And then, and then as you go, gradually get into the really interesting stuff that you showed last time. Yeah. Well, if you want, if you want new, new, it's, it's so new. I haven't even edited. You want me to show you the one I haven't even edited yet? Sure. The one you showed me a while ago was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just quickly, let me just plug in the, uh, the SD card. This is so new that I haven't even. So that's how current this is. This is going on every day in Marina del Rey, every day in Marina del Rey, the government sends in military choppers. 
So this is what happened today. So the Black Hawk comes in and watch, and this is the first of a first. Watch, can you see that? No, you got to hit your share. Oh, shoot. Yeah, really? share and then, and then your folder, yeah. I don't know if you can do that. Well, hit your share and then try to play that. I believe yeah, I yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry here. Be, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay, can you see that? I, I can see the Zoom there. There's your file, okay. Okay. All right, let's try because your viewers want to see reactions they just they don't want to hear us talk all day right. they're like show show us the video oh, okay show me i'm not even from missouri, i'm not even from missouri but show me <laughs> exactly exactly so here we go this is from today so here's the premise this is what's going on every day the government sends in ospreys black hawks the police the flyover Marina del Rey, because this is where these things are. It's a hot zone. But even though this is common now, what this Black Hawk does is the first I've ever recorded. And he and a tag is when the UAP flies by the Black Hawk or the aircraft. He does get tagged. Uh, here we go. Just watch this. They do trigger the X band. Watch what he does. This is unheard of. Goes up. <laughs> That's Did you see that? Yeah, it looks like an evasive maneuver. Oh wow, let me play that back some more then. Maybe it was. He he probably he saw it coming on his on his radar. Yeah. It looks like an evasive maneuver because he go, kind of goes straight up. Otherwise, he would have slowly went up. And that's how fast it happens. 2000 miles an hour, these things are rifle shots. They are tagging everyone. They are tagging our aircraft. Now you're saying, no, Robert, that's a bird, it's a bug. So what I said earlier, and the Pentagon agrees with me as of April 19th, they publicly stated these things are triggering X-BAM, X-BAM on the spectrum. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of video of these things flying by our helicopters and our X, and I have a radar detector on my camera and it goes off, X-BAM, X-BAM detected. Yeah, I've proven that. Yeah, Dr. Robert, could you... Pause it when it gets to the when you see the yeah. the dragon. Okay, I think people need to see that. Yeah, I'm going to play it in slow motion, but I'll pause it. Okay. There it is. Right there it there. is. That's it. Okay, it's there. Oh. Right. Yeah. Let me back up. They're, they're so friggin' fast. They're yeah. a rifle shot. I'm recording. Unbelievable. I'm recording at. Uh, Four Panasonic X1000, 4K, 60 frames. Wow, unheard of. Um, yeah, that's about yeah, so, yeah, saw it. It flew right over him. Yeah, let me enlarge it. There it is. There it is. That's it. It flew Very predictable. over him. And then that's when he takes the evasive action and goes up higher. Yes, yes. Uh, it's almost too late, though, <laughs> right? It's, it's too late, yeah. You, but it was so you, fast that he didn't know, right? No, no. And I have a lot of these. Now, again, see, no, they're saying that's a bug. You see, you cannot predict a bug or a bird, but mm -hmm. I can predict this. I knew this would happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's They're very predictable. And if they saw the first show, they'll they've seen a lot of these on your other videos, so they can they can put those uh, two to two together equals. I literally oh. I literally have four thousand of these videos, four thousand. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that's the newest. If you're saying, does this happen every day? Yeah, this happens every day. But that evasive action that he took to go straight up, that was weird. Uh, I and and the thing already passed him, the the drone. Right, right. So, I mean, if you want, I'll uh, I'll replay it again. No, but no, it's, it's okay. It, I just I just wanted to to go back and show 
show the dragon, the drone ET. Okay, coming. well, I did slow it down. You did. You got it. You got a good picture of it. Yes, it yeah. went the chopper. Yeah. Here, I did slow it down. Here, do you see it here uh, right now? No, you'll have you to open it? back up. Yeah. Oh, I. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, let me. Here, let me let me open back up here. Share. I did slow it down. I was able to edit this from today. Um, okay, be patient. I know your viewers are very patient. Let me just shoot down. And here is the video at 3%. Well, it's, it's like my videos, Dr. Robert. I know some people see them and they say, well, I didn't see anything. Well, you actually, go. you need to kind of slow them down for them and say, there it is. Can you see it? You got to point it out to some, yeah. some people. They're not really looking for it. There, there, no. and, there it and is. Two, there until it you is. train yeah. your eye, you have to train your eye. Right. But now notice, watch the speed of the, if you want to see, no, get a perspective of how fast this is going. Watch the speed of the uh, rotor here. Look at that. It's barely mm. moving, and this thing is hauling. Yeah. Again, some of your viewers are going to go, well, that's parallax. It's it's a bug close to the camera. No, it's not. Yeah. I've seen enough of your videos to know. Yeah. Right. And I have, I have a lot of videos where they're behind an object, too. Yeah. But this is what's going on. This is so predict, And you could do this, not just Los Angeles. Wherever you live, you can do this. And people are sending me. They're sending me all, all the time here. Um, just real quick. So you're, so you're becoming the central, uh, I guess, coordination point of all these uh, Dragon drones. Yeah, for now, and mm -hmm. until I get a team to help me. Uh, look at this one. This is from uh, Vince from today. Look at this right here. Are you familiar with the uh, Cubier warp field? Uh, this is what it is with low velocity. This is the uh, warp field. This is what I'm seeing, the Cubier yeah. warp field. People are sending me these things. Let me see if I can shoot through. Oh, here's an, yeah, let me. Look at this. This is really a rare one. Now, the uh, the wings that you see, this is electricity. These are elect the plasma jets, mm -hmm. these things. Because uh, nothing runs for free. There's no free energy in the universe. So this is people just, Indiana, they're just holding their video. This is a bird right here. They're just holding their, there's a helicopter behind the bush. They're recording helicopters. They're not turning their camera on at random. Over and over. Let's go to the next one real fast. Here's a jet. Where's yeah, this at? You see those things that look like little antennas, and and Dr. Robert, you call them plasma jets. Plasma jets. Yeah. Nothing runs for free. They're running on electricity. Look, there are twin dragons here. Record airliners. I have a lot of airliners. Airliners are the easiest. Airliners get tagged a lot. Where is this at? Uh, Santa Clara, that's uh, Fresno, Northern California. This one, this one flew actually behind the light pole here. It's really hard to detect. Let's get a better one. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we this see is, that one there. This is uh, from Mark uh, Scotland. Oh, this is a good one. This is actually a military high surveillance jet called the Poseidon. Super high surveillance. Look what this dragon does. I believe he flies behind this this guy. Here it is. Yeah. He's really checking him out, ain't he? Well, this is a high surveillance military yeah. craft. Yeah, and those but, little dragons know it. And they know it. Yeah. He's behind. The dragon is there. You see, you don't see the dragon. The dragon is behind the jet uh, surveillance. The Poseidon, you can Google that guy. Super high tech. I'm sure it hunts. It's designed to hunt Russian submarines. Wow. And he gets tagged. They gave him a lot of attention just because he had so much electronics on his airplane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those, so this those, is dra those Dragon drones, Dr. Robert, they, they must have some technology that works in a fraction of a second. A they, blink of an eye. Yeah. Quantum. Yeah. Quantum computers. Right. They can they can 
soak in all this uh, knowledge from a plane and the technology of it, soak it all in just by pi passing it at 1200 miles an hour. That's, that's, wow, that's fast. That's exactly, yeah. exactly. I mean, it's, it's over and over. Look at this, another one. Just, that's all you have to do. Take the dragon challenge. Just take the challenge. Um, pick up your phone. You see a helicopter, an airplane. Hold your phone sideways. Record it. Right. Super easy. Super easy. Take your phone. Here's your phone. Lot sideways. Landscape. Mm -hmm. Zoom in halfway, not too close. You get too close, you'll zoom out the dragon. Extremely repeatable, over and over. And like I said, I have a lot of X, I have a lot of videos of the X band being triggered, the K band being triggered. And the Pentagon agrees with me as of April 19, 2023. They gave the report to Congress and they said, look, these things are triggering X band. They're going 2,000 miles an hour. They also agree with my uh, calculations. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, it is what it is. It's uh it's I'm putting it out there for humanity. It's open source. I don't really necessarily, I'm not doing this for money or fame. Um, no, you've already, been, yeah, you've already been, God has, has been blessful to you and your abundance and you're a great guy. And also, uh, I, we never mentioned this. You were also the pharmacist for the movie stars and you know, quite a few movie stars and uh, yeah. what a, what a, what a great job that was. Wow. Yeah, uh, that, was, that was really uh, that was probably the most exciting part. Uh, without mentioning names, yeah, I uh, I literally could go to Paramount Studio, and this was in '93, and I could sit on the set of where they filmed Star Trek, and I would, I'd go every week. I mean, I would like, I think I'm going to just go. I I would just call my connections and say I'm I'm going down. And I want to see them film Star Trek in real in real life. I would sit on the in the captain's chair. I'd stand on the transporter room. In real life, the transporter room is very small. It's yeah. not. It's, it's very small. Yeah. I mean, I was tempted, like, oh, I would love to take a picture, but I don't want to betray the trust, so I I didn't. I I didn't take pictures. But um, and the Star Trek set was closed, top secret. Nobody gets in nobody uh but then i had a, some a couple of people did complain but i told them i was a guest of of this person of this celebrity and this celebrity was a very high ranking celebrity and they security would just turn around and leave they would just leave me alone they wouldn't talk to me anymore once they knew i was i was there for legitimate purposes Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah so it, that was fun in the 90s hanging out with, with a lot of celebrities and do you see they, any now i mean are there any that you see on the street or you visit or uh, uh, no that's mostly behind i but i do anticipate once these dragons are more common common knowledge they will be reaching out to me I, i'll reach out to them uh I have, I have a couple of years ago, I sat down, I don't want to mention his name, but I sat down with the biggest UFO celebrity in Hollywood and I showed him all my videos, uh, very big time, just, mm -hmm. but you know, out of respect, I don't want to mention any names. Uh, I could tell you, I went to Sony pictures in Culver city. I mean, I sat in his office for three hours. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I know a couple of, uh, I guess, movie star, uh, ufologists uh, and they're i'm not going to say the names but i think i know the one you're talking about yeah uh, but yeah. no yeah like we said earlier dr robert we, we talked earlier and the, there's a lot of things that we don't mention or talk about uh on the air and but we but we give you what what the research that dr robert has we're giving you that for sure that's for real and it's all hard work and i know he, i know dr robert from doing a couple of shows with him great guy so now, what do you, where do you want to take us now? Okay, so I want to take you back to 2017. Okay. Where, um, but really just started all this technology. Um, so you can see the screen there, right? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, there's your this file. Is what, 
this is what happened. Um, long story short, this is one of the best, one of the best videos that was, I don't know if it was accidentally recorded, if it's meant to be. Here, let me quickly show you. Right here is an interview. They were interviewing one of the pilots on UFOs. Mm -hmm. And the pilot said, I saw the UFO, it was the size of his F-18. F-18, okay? There's a reason why I'm showing you this. Yeah. Okay, so I do have a video. Here's a screenshot. Here's a screenshot of two F-18s chasing, well, chasing a UFO, but the UFO is coming straight at them. And what state was it? Was this in California? California, Los Angeles, two, okay. uh, March, March uh, 26, 2017. Okay. This is, and I'm going to show you the video, but this is basically the UFO was playing a game of chicken and targeted our two F-18s and flew right up to them. So I'm going to show you the video. Uh, it's an impossible video. I don't know how I got this lucky even to have it um here we go okay this is so lucky okay so once the uh U the uap now this uap i estimated since it's about the same size of a f uh, f18 this is about 30 feet it flew up it flew up to uh, the F-18s and four seconds later, it flew down to the sky and flew to the telephone pole. Yeah, you can see it right there on the lower yeah. right uh, frame. Yeah, and I'm gonna enlarge it for you, but yeah. let me play the video right. so you can see for yourself. I think pretty much at this point, we would all agree this is not a bird or a bug. Mm -hmm. Uh, these F-18s were there for six hours, uh, and the story gets even harder to believe. But let me just start at the beginning here. Let me uh, play the video, because your viewers are saying, play the video, Robert, play the video. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. That's what I would be saying. Play yeah. the video. It's slow-mo. Okay. So this is, again, you this is enlarged. It, you can see it's shining. It's metal, metallic or whatever. Now these two strings, these two jets, because these things are running on electricity, these are plasma jets. These are electron plasma jets. Nothing runs for free in the universe, no matter how no. advanced you are. Okay, Dr. Robert, this is the regular size UFO, right? The regular size. I'm estimating not, 30 feet. Yeah, it's not. A, it's about the size of the first one that my buddy and I saw. Yeah. Right, right. So let me let me play the video. It plays a game of chicken with our two jets. Um, and like I said, this even gets harder to believe. I'll tell you, let me, let me turn it down. So the two jets are right there. Mm -hmm. And watch, watch the top left corner. Uh, there's two UFOs, but watch the one on the top left. On, I'll, I'll slow it down as soon as I see it. Here, let me speed it up a little bit. Here we go. Now it's it's already passed. Here, be patient. I'll play it many times. There, okay. Oh, this is the beginning of the video. There are two UFOs. This is UFO number one. Uh, UFO, uh, U, the, here are the two F-18s. The other UFO is on the top right. Here we go. I've slowed this down to like 3%. And I'll pause it as soon as I see the... Uh, the second UFO in the top, I'm sorry, the top left corner. Okay, there he is. There it is, there yeah, it is right yeah, there. Yeah, I see. We, okay, he's targeting our two F-18s. Look what he, he flies behind the satellite dish. You no longer can see him. So it's not a bug in front of the camera. He targets our two F-18s. And there he is. Look how close he is. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see there that. It is. Yeah, there he moved. I can see the dot now. Yeah. Let me he enlarge the picture. No, I can't enlarge it anymore. Yeah, but yeah, there. Yeah, you can see 
He's that almost like he, in formation with him. Yes, like he's flying formation. There yeah. it is right there. So he passes, he flies away. He flies around. And then it drops out of the sky. I went fast forward. He drops out of the sky. He flies to the left. And then there he is. He's falling yeah. out of the okay. sky. He's all the way on the left. And then, and then there it is. Wow. And then I will freeze that one. Yeah. I'll freeze that one. And, and something interesting, Dr. Robert, that you're finding out, not only these drones or these dragons, these little things, but the regular size UFOs probably, uh, you know, commanded by a biological uh, source or whatever. But you also p mentioned this plasma that shoots out from it and they run on, they recharge on electricity. That's phenomenal to know that. Uh, I, I'm the only one brave enough to actually say that. Mm -hmm. uh, I know a lot of people are going, Robert, you don't have any proof. You're a scientist. Why are you talking like that? Let, let me show you the video. Why? Let me show you the video. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a fair question. Let me show you the video right now. Because like I said, your viewers want to see videos. They don't want to hear me yapping. Uh, let me show you my my video why I think that. So in 2018, I'm here in Marina del Rey. I see an airplane. I'm recording the airplane because I know airplanes get tagged. Mm -hmm. And what do I end up recording? Coming down, this is 4500 Lincoln Boulevard, 2018, June 8th. I pick up a dragon. Now, this is a dragon. He's coming down and he's flying parallel with these high voltage lines, 34,500 volts. Why would a UAP, a UFO, be flying next to 34,000 volts of electricity? He's getting a free recharge. Yeah. That's, that's not that unreasonable to assume that. Here's the video. He's getting a free recharge via induction, just like your cell phone. Mm-hmm. Via induction now. You don't plug in your cell phones anymore. Yeah, you can see the plasma jets streaming out. Yes, you can. Uh, the uh, Now, the regular size UFOs, they we're talking about 30, 30 foot and, and bigger. Do they do the same thing? They draw? From yes, it's the same technology. The same technology. High voltage. And when I say high voltage, I'm talking way excess of 100 million volts. Way in excess. So, so the question... What would that cause? Would that cause our lights to dim if they did that in, in our neighborhood and they drew from a transformer or from one of these high power lines? Would it cause our power to draw down a little bit, Dr. Robert? Yes, exactly. That does happen in my area about twice a year. The lights go out. If you Google, the electricity goes out at LAX. LAX is only uh, two miles from me. Mm -hmm. And mysteriously, the lights go out at LAX, which is unheard of. It doesn't happen. Let me tell you why it doesn't happen. Because across the street from LAX is a power station, an Edison power station that supplies half the city of Los Angeles. But the airport gets priority of over the electricity. So there's no reason for an airport to be out of electricity because the power station is across the street. Mm -hmm. So, but they do, the dragons, they recharge and sometimes they pull out too much energy from our transformers. Here it is again, they pull out too much energy and they cause our transformers to go critical and we're in the dark. Yeah. There you go. So, and there's an enlargement. So can we agree that's not a bird? Yeah, it's got a metallic shine to it and you can actually see a copper color to it. Yeah, very lucky, lucky video, but very repeatable. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I could drive around. I, I don't do that anymore because I have 4,000 videos, but there you go. This is what the government is chasing. Mm -hmm. And that's about 10 inches. Why do I say that's 10 inches? That's fair. Everybody wants proof. That's fair uh, because, because you see this, uh, this is uh, on the top of the power car. These are called Brown Thompson ceramic insulator. Brown Thompson 
ceramic insulators. If you Google that, they are 10 and a half inches in diameter. More or less, the silhouettes are like equal. So we know in the neighborhood, we're looking at a 10 inch drone, but at velocity zero, they're about one inch. How do I know that? Cause I have that video. Mm -hmm. So let me quickly show you that video because your viewers want to see results. So let me quickly pull that up. I have that under my F equals MA folder. F equals MA in physics where um, the faster you go, the faster you go, the larger the mass, the larger the mass. Uh, force equals mass times acceleration. Let me show you the video, one of a kind video. So what I do is I invented a format called interpolation. It's a real term in photography, but it's not, it's only now becoming popular because of AI. AI can study your videos and if something's off, it can interpret your video and tell you if something's missing. Uh, but I invented this term three, four years ago. It's been around since the 90s, but I've been using it for three or four years. The bottom line is I'm looking at free video on YouTube, the Blue Angels in Chicago. This is from the Blue Angels in Chicago. I see this dragon pull up to this guy's leg. You see right here, this person standing that white dot. Mm -hmm. That white dot, that's how I know it's about one inch. It travels down. The velocity is very slow. It stops behind this lady's black shirt, but on her lower back. And then it launches. And when it launches, boom, look at this. Wow. There's the, the plasma jet. Those are the plasma jet. Nothing runs for free. Yeah. If you're seeing UFOs run for free, just be kind of cautious. Be kind of cautious. Now, would that woman feel a presence of some kind of static electricity or something on her back, uh, Dr. Robert? It was there for a blink of an eye. Oh. So probably not. Uh, my concern is, is gamma rays. Electricity is electricity. Gamma rays are gamma rays. Mm -hmm. I don't recommend getting too close to them. I do not recommend that. Not they, until we know. They was awful close to that lady there in the black. Yeah, I, I'm sorry to say, yeah. I, I, and this guy's leg, I, 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 I don't, I don't know what I, 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 hopefully, you know, they say a low dose of radiation won't hurt you as a pharmacist. I don't buy into that, mm -hmm. but hopefully because it was an ephemeral exposure, it won't be a problem, but what can I say? There's the video. People want videos. They're saying, Robert, show me your videos. Okay. So I've gone through 10,000 videos and this is what I found. And I have equally good video. I mean, I, I've done my homework. Right. Uh, now, I think we might've mentioned the last time he was on the show, but who do you think, are, are these things guiding themselves or, or is there some headquarters that with ETs that are guiding these things? Uh, what's, 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 are you familiar uh, with the uh, are you familiar with the black knight yes uh, yeah. there's a satellite been orbiting the earth i think they're giving they're sending information back to the black knight logically that's what i would have to assume okay. logically and it disseminates to all the other ufo craft yeah yeah there's about uh there's about, in my estimate, there's one dragon per square mile on planet Earth. By the way, can you see this F-22? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's about, in my estimation, one dragon per square mile on planet Earth. Google says there's 200 million square miles on planet Earth. I'm estimating there are 200 million dragons on planet Earth. Wow. Let me show you a dragon and an organic pilot ship that I found in Canada. Well, how did I find it? I'm watching air shows. That's how I found it. Mm -hmm. It's not by accident. It's a calculated strategy. Here we go. Okay, did you see that dragon real fast? Just materialize. There, yeah, I saw it. You just materialized. Now, here, bear with me real quick. My theory is because I've watched thousands of videos 
these dragons have two functions. Their primary function is to escort and protect organic ships, larger ships. Why? Because organic pilots are so extremely valuable that they have to be protected at any cost. And eventually the Pentagon will make drones to fly with our organic pilots for the same reason. Mm -hmm. Our pilots have to be protected at any cost. So whenever you see uh, uh, organic ships, look for dragons, look for dragons. I'm going to show you their organic ships. Now, They're would this dragon, Dr. Robert, would it, would it uh, have the capabilities of firing an electrical plasma weapon at, at something? If it is protecting an organic ship, yes, it would. Yeah, there's two answers to that. If it's protecting itself, it will not fire back. It will just leave. But if it is protecting an organic ship, it will fire back. And I do not recommend firing on these dragons. Just don't do it. Okay, here's the video. Here comes a dragon. Just there, you see them? Mm. Just happens to right there at the picture. Right. Even in slow motion, they're hard that's, to see. Yeah, middle of the uh, frame, yes. Yeah. Now these dragons, they love air shows and they're often in air shows. But in this case, He's escorting an organic ship, and here comes the organic ship. There it is. Wow. That's a... Uh, yeah. That's a wing-type uh, RV. A, a Chevron. Here, let Chevron. me enlarge it. A Chevron. Look at that. Yeah. Could we Could we all agree? I, I know I, we got to be fair. Could we all agree the sky is probably blue? Mm -hmm. You know... Yes. Can we can we agree that whatever this object is, the resolution is about as clear as the F-22? Mm -hmm. Okay. So not knowing, that's all I'm saying, because none of us know, unless we sit inside one. We don't know where it's from, where it's from, who made it. But How, how big do you think that is, Dr. Arbor, that, that Chevron? Well, I mean, there's the F-22. Mm-hmm. We could assume, relatively speaking, bigger than 10 feet, probably less than 30, 10 to 30 feet. Is that the kind that they saw in Turkey and they took the picture of it and there was two, like, uh, I guess they call them little grays. They were sitting in the cockpit. You know, that's a, uh, I, I don't believe it so. Looks, it looks like the same craft that they had. I can tell you, Dave, after literally watching 2000 videos on YouTube, this is a very unique, this is the only one I've ever found. I've personally, my instincts, just my instincts, my instincts tell me that this is from our future. My instincts. No, but there's theories on that. Yeah, uh, time yeah. travel, future, past. Yeah, there's a good picture of it. You can see it shining or is that, is that plasma coming from off of it? Oh, the electric field, electromagnetic field. Nothing runs for free. Mm -hmm. How fast uh, do you yeah. think that's moving? Well, if we play it in real, well, it's an invisible speed. Uh, probably as fast as the dragon, 2,000 miles an hour. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. See that. And you know what's kind of interesting? As soon as the dragon leaves the frame on the left, as soon as it leaves the frame, the UAP pops in. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's almost as if they did this on purpose. They're talking to us. They're saying, if you humans are smart, you realize we did this on purpose. Yeah. They show you ETs. And I tell people this a lot of times. Some of my pictures aren't the greatest of pictures, but you have some great video and pictures here. But they ETs will only show you what they want to show you. They're that, far, they're that far ahead of us and they're that intelligent that they'll only show you what just a little this little tidbit of what's going on with them because they want to let you know that they're there but they don't want to show themselves yeah correct there's the interpolation i just copy and frame copy and paste each frame mm -hmm. that's that's the interpolate now nobody is doing this in the ufo world yet nobody um there's there's the research. So this is Canada. I showed you. 
I showed you the uh, Covina. I uh, let me let me show you the Palmdale. No. Your viewers want to see. Your viewers are saying, "Come on, Robert. <laughs> do you have any? That's good. That's good stuff. Do you have any more good stuff?" You're spoiling them. Actually, I, you know, I don't easily have this much video coverage on on a lot of shows, but you're spoiling my viewers, Doctor Robert. <laughs> I. I, I got to admit, it's all, after this, it's all downhill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm showing you, you know, the most valuable diamond, the rarest diamond in the world are um, red diamonds. Red. Red mm -hmm. diamonds. Uh, let's see, where's my Palmdale? Jeez. Red diamonds. They're, they're so rare that not even jewelers know what they are. Red diamonds. Mm -hmm. I am showing you... Where's my Palmdale? Jeez, uh, yeah, yeah. What the heck? Excuse me, everyone. What is yeah, going on? Just here? like my files, I lose them all the time. I'm like, what am I losing my mind here? Just Palmdale, <laughs> Palmdale. Here it is. Okay. Um, um, Palmdale. So these are all red diamonds. After this, Dave, I don't have any more red diamond. Uh, UAPs. Okay. And you, you've already shown all your latest shots also, right? Oh, well, I get new ones every day, but yeah. these are the best of the best. And I know yeah. your viewers want to see the best of the best. Mm -hmm. So I get that. Yeah. So what am I doing? I'm watching YouTube video. I'm watching the Blue Angels because I know something's going to happen. And look what I found. This is like 2018. Palmdale, California, the Blue Angels flying around. This is a reflection of his helmet. And here we go. Watch what happens. Did you hear the click? So yeah. they make a clicking sound. So what's what's going on here? I don't want to put words in your mouth, but what's going on here is a wormhole is opening. There's the wormhole. Right. It's a, it's a flat line. If you talk to physicists, physicists will tell you wormhole is not a dot, but it's a flat line. There's a friggin' flat line right mm -hmm. there. Right. Um, look at this. You see the energy transfer, the high voltage line. A fraction later, you see the ship come out. Here it is. Here, let me back it up. Let me try to enlarge this. Let me try to enlarge it one more time. Yeah, that is one of the most fascinating videos you have. Yeah. See these little dots here? Those are dragons. They are escorting. They are protecting the organic ship. That is what they do. Now, once the dragons are out at a planet like Earth, then they recon the planet. And everything gets reconned. Everything. Just uh, everything gets so these things are all over the, our galaxy, all over the, uh, you could assume they're on Mars. You, mm -hmm. you will see these dragons on Mars, but nevertheless, listen for the click again. I'll replay it. Okay, so when you record inside a sound chamber, like in this case, it's inside the fuselage. The pilot has a GoPro camera. So it's it's a quiet zone. I've done the same thing. I record behind my glass door and these dragons give off a click sound. It shows up on the video. Maybe so, a, a static shock sound. Yeah. It's open. I, I, I'm not a physicist, but I'm open. It could be a muffled, attenuated, a mitigated sonic boom. Maybe yeah. it has to do with their propulsion. Uh, all I can tell you is that it's there. It is repeatable. And it, like I said, custodian file at Gmail. I'll send you all the video you want. It's open source. Okay. This is from the video. It's called Blue Angels Looking Forward, Timeline 2314. It's not top secret. Although I'm sure the government thinks it's top secret. It's yeah, top and secret. Dr. Robert, you mentioned before, and we talked about earlier, that you have worked with the Air Force and giving conferences or, or talks uh, to a group. I do. Of, yeah. yeah. I don't know how I got this lucky. I give lectures at March Air Force Base mm -hmm. in Riverside, California. 
I told them everything I'm telling you. Yeah. So they're taking it very serious. They're taking it. And frankly, they, sh they, sh I'm doing free research. I've taken, I have a heavy science background. Mm -hmm. I've taken a lot of money at my expense, a lot of time. I'm retired now. I'm a lot of time and I'm putting this free videos out there. I'm giving it to the public. I'm giving it to the air force. I've sat down with the alphabet agencies. I've given it to them. I'm doing what I can. Yeah. You're enlightening people. And that's, that's the important thing. That's what I like doing because I've had some experiences and like you, you're having all these experiences. You want to let people know what's going on and enlighten people to say, Hey, there is stuff out there that we need to know about. And I say the same thing. That's why I do my podcast uh, to try to bring enlightenment to people to try to let them know what's really going on out there uh, with different guests. And like yourself, you got some fantastic videos. I don't have that many guests that have the videos that you have. It's amazing. Well, thank you. It's again, I, I, I'm working it backwards. Mm -hmm. I know where to look and I watch Blue Angels videos. Here's a Blue Angel Chicago of 2017. Look what, see, he's flying down. All those white dots, that's a Michigan Lake. Those are boats, okay? Wow. It's a great air show, yeah. Chicago Air. Look what flies in front of him. Here it comes, be patient. You're gonna really like this. This is my last red diamond. And let me speed it up just a little bit. Here we go. Here. Here we go. That looks like a regular craft and it looks like a, a dragon. Well, this is a regular, it is a regular craft. Let me enlarge it. Mm -hmm. Those are all boats. You remember, uh, we shot down, we, uh, six months ago, uh, we shot down this balloon over Lake Huron, uh, right. over basically Chicago airspace. Right. Before the pilot shot it, he says, I can see it. It's a black hexagon, a black hexagon. Does this look black? Does this look like a hexagon in the back? Yes, it does. One, two, three, four, five, maybe basic. Yeah, hexagon. One, mm -hmm. two, three. Four or five, Jesus, I, 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 I don't know what to tell you, but I found this video five years ago. What a coincidence. We shot down a black hexagon over Chicago airspace. Now, and that's fair. Some of your viewers are going, no, that's trash in the cockpit floating around. <laughs> that's fair. But look what's right behind him. What is this orange cloud? Yeah, what is that orange thing? This is the first time you've shown this one. This is brand new stuff. Yeah. Okay. So just because, again, because I six years, 12,000 hours of research, 4,000 UAP videos. And I'll show you. I'll show you my evidence. I mean, I, I yeah. get it. Your viewers are saying, Dr. Robert, show us the evidence. That's fair. Oh, I uh, think I'm, I'm thank, I think I'm seeing it. That's for sure. Uh, okay. yeah. I, I'm a, I'm a spiritual religious person, but I'm not asking for faith. I, I have imperial data. Mm -hmm. So let me show. So what this orange is in my opinion, because I have other orange. So these UAPs, they run on electricity. Nothing's free in the universe. Mm -hmm. They're generating, they're generating electricity, most likely from either hydrogen or helium. If you Google Plasma helium, plasma helium, when you send an electrical charge through it, is orange. Okay. Orange plasma, okay. electrical plasma helium is orange. That's what we're looking at. So is that waste material from a ship? Uh, it's just pure energy. Pure energy. It's not, what? I want to say... I want to say waste material because electrons, there's no waste material on electrons. Why it's would they, why would that be left out there all by the, by itself without a ship around it uh, after they went through, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's a question for theoretical physicists. Yeah. All I can do is tell you 
These things are in the air. This is where I find it. You can find this. You can record these things. You can go to any air show, look for them. If you're a serious researcher, email me. I'll teach you how to refine them quicker on YouTube. Uh, now you're saying, okay, Robert, do you have any other orange videos to, this is, you might say, this is one lucky video. Do you have any more? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a fair question. Two, oh, is, two is suspicious and three is not a coincidence. That's what I, that's what, how I go by things. Yeah. That's, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. This is, this is a video I found on YouTube. Okay. Okay. One orange object here. Let me see. Do we have any more? Yeah, this is, this is one. I recorded this one out of uh, six years. I only have one and this is it. That was 2018. My camera was zoomed into infinity. And this, I have two frames. And here's the, this is the orange. So these, again, these dragons, it has to be helium. So when you see, because the question is, and this is a good question. People are saying, wait a minute. That's kind of reddish looking at, maybe the sun's doing that. You know, red, orange, that's, that's fair. I, I, I don't want to get into the frequency of colors. Okay. You got my numbers. You got three of them that you showed me. And that's not a coincidence. That's something that, that has some meaning. Yes. Yeah. But uh, so uh, when you hear people say, I saw a UFO, it was light, it was orange. You hear orange a lot. Mm -hmm. So and people go, well, well, if UFOs are so advanced, why do they have lights? Why do they have headlights? And that's a great question. Yeah. I thought about that for years. So what we are seeing, we are not seeing lights. We are seeing colors. And we are seeing the color of their propulsion. That's propulsion. So yes. It's propulsion. So when we see orange, they're saying to us humans, we are utilizing helium. Right. I saw a close up a triangle craft, huge, covered the whole neighborhood uh, back in 2011, April. And it had two lights on the back end of it. The front one wasn't lit up. It was, they were glass looking, uh, I guess, looked like old fashioned glass bulbs. He put on a light bulb back years ago, but they were both hanging down in front and they weren't on, but the two back ones were, were bright white light. And you're right, Dr. Robert, those are propulsion. Those are not lights. And you yeah. just said it. Now the ones you saw were white. Yes. So logically just, you have to Google, do some research. But you just Google what color is white plasma, and the answer to that, and it's hard to find, but is uh, is hydrogen. Okay. So they're telling us they're like, look, this is the fuel, this is the octane we are using, mm -hmm. helium and hydrogen. And if we ever see, if you ever see blue lights, just Google blue plasma. What element is blue plasma? I don't know, but I'm trying to plant a seed for other researchers. Right. That's all right. If you want to throw the criticism in, that's fine. I don't mind. Uh, put it in the comment section on uh on after I put this show on and uh and Dr. Robert, I'll I'll make sure that you get the comments and answer to them. Uh I guess we're just about done with the show. We're uh, oh, we're up to okay, an hour. real quick, okay. real quick, that's since okay. it's here. Okay. All right. Uh because the government has been here, um they've been here uh, 15,000 times helicopters, but they've also sent research vessels. And this is one research vessel that they've sent in. It's this one's called the Ocean Investigator. And it popped up because it's orange. The computer can read the color orange. Um, this was here for nine months researching. Really? And real, real, real fast. I know because I- Were, were they- were they researching deep in the in the ocean, or were they just? Uh, They're researching oh. dragons. They were parked right here for nine months. Okay. But they would they would drive around. They would drive around. And after nine months of being parked in the ocean right here, they left. But before they left, they dropped a submarine in the water, and I videotaped the recovery of the submarine. Here we go. 
the name of this vessel is called the decisive. So if you have Navy connections, decisive, Google it. Okay. And that is a drone that we're seeing there. Yeah, that's a dragon tagging reconning the decisive. Mm -hmm. But I'm not interested in the dragon. I'm interested in the submarine. There it is. Yeah, they're pulling it up. Yeah. Now, why would somebody do that? Drop a submarine in the water in Marina del Rey? They're looking for a base. They're looking. They are looking for something. They are looking. He, Somebody he, with a lot of money hired these two research vessels for nine months. Who has that much money? Mm -hmm. That's that's. They're looking for ET bases off of California. They claim there's quite a few of them off the uh, coast of California. Right. Yeah. Right. So okay. So I don't know. I think I may have showed you all my red diamonds. Maybe that was great. You showed some new material, and I really enjoyed it myself. I enjoyed our talk before the show. Uh, it's always interesting talking to you, Dr. Robert. And uh, everybody out there, hope that you look at this ob objectively. And if you have any comments or if you film anything, send those films to custodianfile, uh, you know, at gmail.com. And, uh, and get a hold of Dr. Robert Scheib. And uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening in on the show. And I'm sure that you'll enjoy the show. Uh, the last time we had Dr. Scheib do this show, uh, a lot of people liked it. And so I hope that you enjoy this. This is some new material. And also he's repeated some things to kind of put you back online, what, he's, what his, his thoughts are and what his research is. And Dr. Robert Scheib, thank you very much for being on The Strange Reality, Dave Emmons Show. And and uh, I'm sure this is not the last time I will be seeing you. So thank you so much. And and the best way to get a hold of you is through the email, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, so check out my channel, Custodian File, mm -hmm. uh, or, or uh, Custodian File at Gmail. Okay. Yes, sir. You too, because that's it. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Scheib. And uh, thanks to everybody that's listened in. Good Peace. night. Bye-bye.